I'm praying that this is gonna give me some energy because I am I'm so beat up, honestly. I'm so tired. Since it's Tusa holiday, we've been with Jake's family for many days in a row. Um, we even went camping with them and it was absolutely amazing. It was so amazing. But just the pure mental energy that it takes for me to like pay attention to the Korean language, like concentrating on understanding what they say and then concentrating on saying something back in Korean and really conversing in Korean. It's so mentally draining. And after that camping trip, we went straight to Jake's parents' house and we had a huge, like, delicious dinner with his cousins and um, aunt and lots of makgeolli and it was just so much fun. But the day after, Let's just say that when I'm tired and I want to detach myself, I play PlayStation. So I've been playing PlayStation for the past like two days straight. <laughs> this is delicious. Mm. So that also means that obviously we're gonna go outside today, even though I'm so tired still and I basically cannot open my eyes. I'm going to um, Old Seoul up in Sochon today. I know that a lot are very interested in hearing how it is to be a part of a Korean family and have Korean in-laws and that was something I was really nervous about as well because obviously this is the love of my life I want to impress his family I want his family to like me so I must say when I first met his parents three years ago I was, I was really nervous but um, they're absolute sweethearts actually we did have a sort of like an very open and vulnerable moment together where we expressed our feelings and it was actually really emotional for me because it, it's it's a really big deal to me. I know it is for Jake's parents as well, um, which is why they expressed that, but when we were playing card games and such, they told me that they were just so thankful that yeah, I met Jake and that they now have me in their lives and they said I had a really nice personality, which is um, a great compliment. <laughs> How's her blush? So good. I use this every day. But yeah, uh, Jake's dad also told me, which was really sweet, that because they never had a daughter and his aunt also never had a daughter, his uncle on his dad's side also never had a daughter. It's just, there's a lot of boys in his family. And his dad said that because they never had a daughter, now they feel like they finally have one. <sighs> It made me really happy. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> I got this glittery eyeshadow pen from Dear Dahlia. They sent me over a bunch of their stuff. And they're so smooth and so beautiful and they don't crease. So I'm gonna plaster this on my eyelids today. Hi guys. <laughs> you wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like your tomato juice and coffee? Love the things. Like, look how natural that is. It's so beautiful. Because I don't like that, like, really overly glitterly look. So, this is just a natural shimmer. Yeah, I feel really lucky just in general to have a second family here in Korea that's so welcoming and loving. I think I'm done with the makeup, except for lips. I'm gonna add that when I'm heading out because I haven't brushed my teeth or anything yet, so. Mm -hmm. I love it.
we've made it to New Hadun. This cafe is called Mason. Wait, what? Ouvert? Ouvret? I don't know. <laughs> but we passed by it when we were at the little Hanuk stay the other time, so I wanted to now try it out. First, here's a fit check. Raspberry Danish and a cappuccino with oat milk. They have oat milk here. Mm. That's approved. <laughs> Every time I come to this area, there are so many new, really beautiful, like handmade traditional Korean anything crafts shops. And you can find so many unique and beautiful things here. So I actually found on Naver this tea shop that is supposed to be right over here somewhere. And I really want to go check it out and get some more teas because I go through my teas pretty fast. They're not open. Kind of looks like it's closed for good though. Oh well, there are others in the area. <laughs> there seems to be like a bookstore here as well. It's very impressive. But I guess it's it sort of makes sense. There's a lot of places that's closed today. It's still technically holiday today. <sighs> it's okay. Jumping on the first bus Don't need no one to save us We're pulling up the curtain It covers this blue sky <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tell me, can you feel We float in It took like so many personal restraints to not just want to buy the whole store. It was so cute. And you know what? The owner, she recommended me to go to this tea store that I wanted to go to. I guess I really am missing out from not being able to visit that store today. I'll come back. We found a cafe called Cafe Dirt and they have this like oat cream latte. It sounds really yummy. Mmm. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like an an oat einspanner. Is it? Yeah. Because I you know the weather these past couple of days has been so good. Like beautiful. But I felt kind of bad because I've been sitting in my sofa. For three days. <laughs> playing Genshin. Did you play Hogwarts Legacy? Yes, I did. Did you I like it? it all. I loved it. Did you? I found it kind of boring. You did? But I get what you mean. I would like it to have been more challenging as well, because I didn't have any problems with any quests or like 
Yeah. I kind of gave up like 20 minutes in. I was like, yeah. oh. This is not challenging enough. If you played Hogwarts Legacy, let me know what you think about it. Because yeah. I think I agree with Hattie. Two contrasting opinions. Well, actually, no, similar con yeah. opinions. Similar opinions. I enjoyed it, but I would have liked it to be more challenging. I agree. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it too. I mean, I should probably give it another go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and recommend other games for me because I'm becoming too obsessed with Kingshin. So any like adventure style games, I love. You should play Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk? Yeah, it's so good. What is it about? It's like set in a dystopian future, and you can fully customize your character, and like you can do all sorts of quests, and your choices affect the outcome of the game. And it's an open world, so you just oh, go around, oh drive around in open cars. World. It's really fun. It's so fun. Hi. I absolutely love that I got to sit and read my book and sketch a little bit in the sun in the park. I love that space. You know, like when you watch a Disney movie or like a Disney show or something where the whole set, everything just looks so perfect, super clean and bright and everyone is smiling and the colors are vivid. That area of Seoul reminds me of that, like around the National Museum because it's just so well kept and it's so beautiful and today the sky was blue and everyone was just smiling and happy and running around and there were little kids in that park around like on the grass with me that was running around and playing with each other mm. I almost started to cry just because it was so beautiful it was just such an idyllic moment and also my uterus is about to explode because honestly I am so baby crazy. I cannot think about anything else than getting pregnant. <laughs> Not like it's something that we're trying to do now, so don't anticipate anything, but like my biological clock is about to explode and those kids made my day. Anyways, let's unbox what I got today. I love how she packaged everything. And look at this little cute one. I've been really wanting a little tray for when I like have my tea or my coffee or a little snacks or fruit and such in the living room or in the bed or whatever to carry it in on this. My toxic trait is being too lazy to move out and get a fucking scissor. <laughs> okay, I give up. I give up. I guess I'm not that toxic. Ooh. I saw these and the little green accents on it and I could not, not get it. Cute. <laughs> Why is it that every time I mention something in relation to gaming, that people are so surprised that I'm gaming? Do I not seem like the gaming type? <laughs> Can someone please answer the question to why I don't seem like the gaming type? Because 
I'm slightly offended. Although I said that I spent the past couple of days playing Genshin and that I needed sort of like to get out of the house, now that I've been out of the house, I can play Genshin again, right? <laughs> yeah. If you're a Genshin fan, I'm pulling for Nuvillette. And I think I'm adventure rank 56 now, I think. Those are usually the questions I get asked. But I would like to start playing more games because I get frustrated every time like I've played sort of through the whole new update every five weeks of Genshin. So if you have any other recommendations, um, other games that I absolutely loved was Horizon Zero Dawn. That's probably one of my favorite games. And <clears throat> obviously Last of Us, love those. So anything like perhaps open world storyline or kind of like Genshin, um, adventuring. Anyway, um, where was I? I would love any suggestions that you have. Also last time, thank you so much for the suggestions for the book. I forgot the name, but I've bought this fantasy book to read. So any games kind of like those, or maybe just a game you really love that you want me to check out, I would love to see that. So yeah, um, I'm gonna play for the rest of the night until I go to bed and go to sleep. <laughs> I got him. I got him. Ooh, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. <laughs> wow, he's so cool. I'm so happy. Good night, guys.